subscribe a home and home by the notifications on for by C. Why? Because give by C. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Yo, it's so crazy. It's been so long. I think I need to reintroduce myself. I go by the name of Basitana Mwengeti. I am a mom. I am a wife. I am a sister. I am a daughter. I am a pending millionaire, honey, and I'm a gorgeous girl. So, um, thank you to my subscribers for understanding, for your patience. And if you are new here, please join the family please subscribe and you don't just subscribe you turn your notifications on so that when i drop content it and then you know that it's time to come and watch my channel so in today's video it's a story time it's my first time village it's a story time so i'm gonna need you guys to rate me out of 10 and yeah <laughs> let's just get into it yo guys this story is so hilarious <laughs> i think about how i am not scared what's the haiki tabi how i am not afraid of them that's what i'm thinking about anyway it started in 2014 uh if you rem remember very well in 2014 in Ilna, right and yeah i was really that person i had a lot of contacts on mix it because i'm a hot girl my name on mix it in Ilna is hot <laughs> did i lie i didn't lie so fine i don't know about you but all my relationships on mix it Nedi Fella on Mixit, just online, never materialized, and it was just having fun over the phone, and that is that. But then with this guy, it was different. We used to chat the whole time. I slept in the AMs. You know, I went to school with a heavy head because I slept so late. I didn't have time to rest, and now I have an early morning. So I used to have these headaches because, eh, I don't sleep. You know, we keep chatting. There's just so much content. Hey, there's a lot of consistency, guys. We enjoy having conversations with each other. Fine. How we decide, or you know what? Actually, I was like, eh, I think I am ready, you know, to meet with this person because, I mean, I've never gelled with somebody online this much. Fine. We agree. Or, okay, we're going to meet on Friday. Because I remember it was civis. I can't remember what the occasion was, but I remember in Nelly civis and school came out very early at around 12. So I was hot. I agreed on that day because I knew civis and I could literally dress up and look hot. On top of me just being hot in general. Now imagine if I give A for effort. What one? Is that for beautiful? So now I'm here. Guys, I'm dressed up. I bona. When it comes to service, my mom knew her. We need to go and shop. And bona from the smallest detail, yeah, the eye contacts. I used to change eye contacts. Bona green, blue, you name them. Besides brown, because my eyes are brown. Fine, I had blue eye contacts on. Went to my aunt's salon. Hey, she really bona. Bona, she did the work on my hair. And I remember I had this fringe. It uh, it was so yeah, like a Nicki Minaj kind of thing. Ah, I had a Nicki Minaj fringe. I even had highlights. I think they were gold or lime. Hey, guys, I wasn't afraid of things. When I say, I get it, I get it, you know? So, you know, it's lime. I have blue eyes. I remember I had this beautiful sweater, yeah, Nike and stuff like that because the, the weather was very cloudy. But anyway, I was a hot girl, you know? I was a very, very, I was a material girl. Fine. I'm ready to meet up with this guy. I remember it was our school only that came out that early mind you him and i schooled went to school in the same town we all chilled at the same place but we never had the guards or it never crossed our minds or we actually need to see each other i think we liked the idea of you know chatting all the time but that was that because anyway i wasn't looking for a relationship at that time i was just having fun and for me a, an online relationship was more than enough fine ah shall for now it's time to meet I go to the library, Funderbell Park Library. All the people who used to attend high school in Funderbell will tell you Funderbell Park Library is where it goes down. I don't know about now, but now, but back then it was a thing. So fine, I go with my girls and stuff like that because I already told them, hold on, I'm meeting up with a guy. Even though they were surprised, they were going, not a guy. Because one thing about me, I was scared of boys. I used to fear 
boys and you know what's funny my name is girls but if you put boys here daughter that's how i was i think that's also why i never really met with these online mixed boyfriends because i bona my heart would go anxiety levels nervous eh, 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 eh. anyway fine we're there we've arrived my heart is pumping guys i am nervous but this is happening inside so you can't tell her the girl is nervous i had to keep my cool plus besides i was you know naked papa you know and who wants to show her they are scared of boys at that time so i'm just like no it's fine um what happened oh yeah so now we are waiting for the school finally i think about two they arrive fine so he's on the other side of the road right he needs to cross because there's absolutely no way i'm going to cross because first of all you're the one who asked me out secondly you're the one who proposed for us to meet and again my girls are here so i can't be making all that effort fine hey <laughs> but when it's time to cross this person is not crossing now we are just standing like this you know and it's kind it's kind of awkward because uh remember my girls are aware of that and he had his friend who was aware of that so now <laughs> it's like okay for them as an audience it's like okay guys uh what is now you know others were was a lostro you know and as is a lostro fine i got over it i was like you know what i'm not gonna cross the road i'm not gonna waste my time i i was very very angry at that like that day i remember because my girls were rooting for me i was rooting for myself too it's fine i can stress it sharp get over it and I was like, mix it, boyfriends, never. If you want me, you come personally. You tell me you love me. You, you show me you love me. And then we'll, we'll consider, you know, because anyway, this thing, on, you know, typing and stuff, it's not materializing at all. Fine. Eh. All right. Okay. Let me just uh, get back into it. I got disturbed. Hey, fine. Hey. Now, fast forward 2018, I am single. I am now in varsity shop. I used to go to Monash. I used to, yes, I lived for a good two years in Joburg. And then I went back in the Val to proceed with my studies at Pearson. What? So now I was in the Val. I'm in Pearson now. So he takes me. Uh, are you still in the Val? You know? And I don't know. I'm like, why would I even respond to this guy after everything that he has done back then? I would never waste my time. But I'm thinking, Vasi, are you dating? No. Do you have somebody in your life? No. Do you have something to lose? No. Then what's your problem? So I respond, I'm like, nah, I'm in the vow. And then the next text was, um, give me your numbers. So I'm like, ah, you know what? I have nothing to lose. You know, it'll probably just, you know, die out on WhatsApp. Anyway, because it died out in she back then so i wasn't even optimistic about it in jail i was just like ah anyway it's fine gave him my numbers hi immediately after giving him my numbers we started chatting and it went back to that pattern yani yeah back in high school where we would sleep in the ams guys i think we chat yeah i think we had a conversations conversations for like two days two days because i remember it was december at that time what one and he inboxed me in October, I think. And I replied in November. Wabon, yes, I replied in November. And then in December, that's when hey, we moved to WhatsApp. And at that time, I was like, you know what? I've been in the Val. I need to go back to my Joburg friends because I had created serious friendships in Joburg. And besides all my friends in the Val, you know, they had their lives. And they, they you know, in, in December, everyone just has plans. And I just needed to be in, the, in Joburg. Fine, went to Joburg to be with my other friends and stuff like that because the plan was okay we're gonna just party and stuff and stuff why do i keep saying and stuff like that but anyway we're looking good we're looking fresh fly we're material girls fine so now he he this is now when we really need to meet for the first time shut 
So I tell my girl about the story. Hey, my baby's making noise. So I tell my girl, ah, ah, momo. So I tell my girl about the story of another one that I went to visit. <laughs> and she's like, why are you even wasting your time? Why are we even having this conversation? Why are we entertaining this guy? And something in me just said, no, let me give him a chance. It's not like I have anybody, you know, or anything going on. And finally, uh, now the plan is we go out for lunch. So we, we, he had to pick me up. I dropped the location. Fine. Eh, I look good because I'm a material girl. Baban, I looked good. Fine. Ah, I, my, this is a person in high school. I don't know how he looks now. And you know, with men, the way they take pictures and the way they look in actual real life are two different things. Fine, I don't even know what he drives. I get to be next. I'm just standing at the gate. I see a car approaching. I'm thinking that it's him. Ah, I walk up to that car and I literally open the door. I'm like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different person. It's not even him. <laughs> so this guy was like, oh, hi. You know, he's so surprised. But then it's like, he's playing along. Like, oh, he's probably thinking, who did him do? He said, he's a beautiful girl. Hey, girl. You know, I'm just like, ah, 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 you're not the person that I need to see. Fine, I step out of the car. We laugh about it. <laughs> so I tell him that story. He arrives. I'm just like, eh, 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 eh. Such a loud car. I'm like, ah, oh. oh, he's definitely an F boy, and I don't want that. But anyway, I'm like, ah, how sanadaba? I mean, what's wrong with feeding a girl? Plus, I love food, man. You know, I really love food. I get into the car, I'm just, oh, you know what? Since uh, Sikilimo, there's a car that approached Yafi Kabak. I got into the car only to find out how to win. <laughs> and we laughed about it, and we had conversations. So as if we've known each other, we're gonna driving to the restaurant because I remember Nelia Tasha's. Yeah, went to Tasha's. Fine. And so we're in the car. It was as if Mamela, we've known each other for the longest time. We didn't even discuss the Mayori. How did you not cross the road and stuff like that? Mamela, we were blending, and I liked that. Fine. I, I remember now he's in the car, so I'm not really assessing the situation in terms of appearance and stuff like that. I'm just like, hey. Basi, open mind, nothing to lose. Fine. Mm. I steps out of the car, I'm like, oh, we're tall and dark. But when I saw he has his net bank cap, I'm like, who wears a net bank cap? <laughs> Hunter the boy, not even the boy, sorry. Hunter the man is in corporate. I'm like, yay, okay. So we are now seated more restauranting. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to order. I am a whore for pasta. I love pasta. Pizza. Listen, Italian food. That's just me. But anyway, fine. Ah, I order my pasta. He orders whatever he orders. I can't remember what he ordered. So now we're still having conversations. Or we are trying to get to know each other. Mamela phone me illa one way. His phone keeps ringing. And I'm just like, what the hell? What the hell? So he answers and I just hear Ricky business talk and I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. I've always wanted a man in the corporate, you know, somebody, Asira, Siman, your suit, kind of man. And I'm like, I think I just got me a suit, man. So I was like, I'm going to excuse that because, you know, with business and it's very demanding. And I had assumed, no, he must be, you know, in the HOD. You know, he must be in the HOD somewhere there, man. Because there's no way they would call him like this, you know. He must be calling the shots. He is calling the shots. So I'm just like, yes, plus one. So we converse, humanity, you know, fast forward, the dinner, I mean, the lunch. Now he has a meeting and he invited me to a meeting. In my head, I'm like, how do you invite somebody to a meeting? So I had to dress up because the, the, the mandate was you are my PA. I had to dress up like a bona, a corporate girl, a corporate woman, like that woman who chills with men only in the boardroom, calls the shots and just stands up and wah, 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 the heels. I had to be that type of person. Ah, fine, we get there. I remember the meeting was in Santon. It was... um. 
an accounting firm trying to propose something, you know, to handle the books and stuff like that. So I had to pull a world class act, Wangutwa Kirin, Oscar award winning act, Emmy award winning act, Kira Lady Grammy, the summer, Bona, whatever award I needed to pull that act. And honey, did I not understand the assignment? I understood the assignment. First, I looked like a boss and Bona, I was that girl. I, Bona, you even thought that he was working for me. That's just how, how posh and expensive I looked. So five, uh, now we're seated, give me to me. Now I need to put, a, put an act. He's obviously the CEO, all right. So now we are seated. This man is proposing, Bona, what present uh, the proposal and stuff like that. And he keeps asking me, so what are your thoughts, Miss Mwikit? Hey, it was my chance to speak. I was like, because I remember, Vele, you know, the, the, the way the, 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 the man who was presenting, Kurana proposed that thing. Listen to me, guys. I need you guys to engage. When he was very captivating. So I had to make sure, Mame, like, Mame, like, I feel like I'm Fine. I was speaking, he's still speaking, this man. Guys, I'm making notes in my head. It's Kaliba Lauri. I, 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 I am a corporate woman now. And I obviously need to blend in because I can't act like I don't know anything. Otherwise, it's going to blow our cover. Eh, it's time to speak now. No, you know what? I really... By the way, when, I, when I'm when i supposed to speak English, and I mean corporate English, So listen, this English in the Bona. <laughs> I was like, listen, uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, it is well received. May you please just give us a copy so we can review and revert. <laughs> and you could look at my man. He was very impressed. And she be like, so, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Fine. So now the plan was after wearing our corporate clothes, Sensor Chenchari at Goldrift City. Because another thing about me, honey, when I pack, I pack for every occasion. So when I left the valley and went to Jobak, I made sure how to I'm on, how to Linyalo Kete, how to Rulo Swiva, I'm here. So listen, I had bought every outfit for any occasion. Fine, I'm not gonna stress here, so now it's time for us to be casual. And we laughed walking out of that firm in Santin because we're like, yay, how did we pull that off? It was actually about how did you pull that off? But I see you were asking relevant questions here. Yeah? Who are you? Finally, Chincha went to Gold Rift City only to find out who it It was on a Wednesday. I can't remember exactly one way it's alarm, but anyway, I could see. Fine. Then now it was a thing, and were, okay, what do we do now? So he was like, okay, how about we go to Emerald in the Val? And I'm like, hey, Emerald in the Val, it's not going to work for me because I was in a public relationship and people are not aware that I'm no longer in that relationship because I did not announce. So I didn't want people looking at me funny and stuff like that. You know, just, I just didn't want to be uncomfortable. And I think that's why I was more willing to meet up with him in Joburg as opposed to being in the Val because I just didn't want, man, I want, I didn't want to think that next about the eyes or wabo. So fine, I'm like, mm -mm, emerald is not gonna work for me simply because you know what? I know a lot of people more emerald in G, and I just don't want to be seen. Wabo, I've been undercover in terms of uh, my my presence in the Val. Like I went to school in the Val, but you would see me. I don't know how many times. If you saw me, you would make a wish because Aki. I don't, I wasn't seen like before because suddenly I was in your face, in your face. I was so, so I went from this to my little corner. So I kept my little corner that way in case anything to jeopardize that because I liked the idea of not being seen. Wabon. Fine. Uh, he's like, okay, Harry Hartis. Hartis? He's like, yeah, let's just go on holiday. I'm like, yeah. First things first, I'm thinking, well, eh, eh, eh. if we go on holiday, it means we need we need to sleep under the same roof. 
Then I'm like, hey, guys, how are we going to do this now? But then again, I'm like, how do these would be nice? I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. Shop. Hey. So now I go to my friends, the one that I went to, uh, the one who's not rooting for this because after, you know, the whole thing in the past, it was a thing and I don't know why I'm entertainer. So I got there at my friends and he and she was asking me, Hori. So instead of me telling uh, my friend how the meeting went, because we found it quite hilarious that somebody is inviting me to a meeting. So now from that to I'm here to take my bags yeah, on holiday with this man. <laughs> Hi, my friend was just like, yeah, no, I give up. So on my career, we should have nothing to lose. Fine, we went to Hartis. So when we got there at the reception, we meet up with this beautiful old woman. So she's like, wow, you guys look so good together. Are you guys married? I'm like, mm -mm. She was like, are you newlyweds? I'm like, no. And she was like, you guys look so good together. And I was like, oh, okay. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fine, I know. We get to Harti Sibele, what's about we take our bags, we go to our room, and I just scout, where am I gonna sleep? There is no couch, my goodness. It's literally a bed. And a little thing, what's that king? Yo, I remember how frustrated I was when I got there because I'm thinking, where am I gonna sleep? How are we gonna sleep? The sleeping arrangements were great, but I was like, ah, let me not stress about that. It'll worry about itself. Kanakwe will cross the bridge when you get there. Hi, Rinuela Mo. Rinuela, we got to know each other, you know, sitting outside. I remember the weather was so gorgeous. So now I was hoping and praying that, ish, I don't want the sun to set. <laughs> I don't want the sun to set because it means we are going to go inside. And why that so? Sorry about that. My baby just got into the room. <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking well, I don't want the sun to set because it would mean that So now it's not even of it's not even a matter of the sun setting. Now there are just mosquitoes and crickets and me I don't like anything that has more than four four legs. Oh I hate insects. I Oh, so it's just like, oh, now it's time for us to, to, to get inside. And hey, I'm getting nervous because now it means it's now intimate indoor vibes. And then Nadia and Roland towards you because I'm just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he was a very chilled guy, a gentleman. So now I'm like, what's my game? Let me just go into the shower, step into the shower. Guys, I've never taken such a long shower in my life. I was hoping that at the time I step out, it's 6 a.m. in the morning because I just wanted to skip this part in Ayabusi, you know, because I'm like, uh-uh, eh, awkward vibes. I got out of the shower. He ordered in. We had conversations. You know, I was at ease. You, you see the, those nerves that I had, the anxiety. I was like, here, yeah, now everything was just, we're cool. It was as if now we've known each other for a very long time. So now I'm relaxed. Now it's time to sleep. Eh, hey, guys. I was sleeping on the edge of the bed. Let me show you. I was here. Then I'm off. Eh. So I was very uncomfortable when sleeping on the edge. He pulled me towards him and we started cuddling. And I was just like, then I was relaxed. I was relaxed and yeah. We started kissing and eh, next thing you know, it turned into a boom, boom room. <laughs> yeah, no, it went down. Eh, it went down. Next day, we're walking naked. We are now very comfortable with each other. It's like we are literally newlyweds. We are now newlyweds because... Listen, everything's just so nice. We want a homonabi. Gonku. What's my how to my household? Household yaka emi handle. Bona, we looking good. We are fresh. We are ready to see this day and just have fun. So now it was bona. Serichola. There's no way. Like we were really 
that comfortable. He even extended our stay the way Hunule Monatika did, you know, in terms of um, the scenery, the vibes, the conversations, you know, everything. It was just, it was working for us. I extended his stay, our stay. After that, I had to go back home because I remember in about Christmas, I needed to, to spend Christmas with my family. He needed, he needed to spend Christmas with his family in Limpopo. Fine. And then, yeah, fast forward, uh, his uncles. <laughs> he sent his uncles. Uh, we had a baby. Um, you know, we're starting our lives now. And God has just blessed us so much in such a per short period of time. And I cannot, I can't find Tom, you know, how everything just unfolded but i love what i'm seeing i love where i am i love the people i'm with i love i love my pace i love everything and i'm just grateful for my journey because if i didn't take that leap of faith or if i i, I just decided to shut that door i don't think i would have been here so i really really am grateful for that because ultimately that is that is what makes life you know worth living because you can make as much money as you want, but the more money you make, the more you feel the need to make even more. When there's no sense of let's stop here or I've made it or fulfillment. It's always, okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? But you know, having somebody that you wake up next to and you're like, oh, thank you, God. And you look at your baby and you're like, oh my God, that for me is life. So my life is just you know it took a turn in such a short period of time this is our fourth year now um in it we sealed the deal in last year got three years you know and that's just that just shows how time doesn't mean anything Wabon, you can meet somebody now and they will just transform your life like that and you can meet somebody and spend time with them and things won't materialize there's absolutely no formula but i just feel like when when love locates you and god is in it then there's absolutely no way you guys are not going to flourish because i cannot explain or or break down how it went about go i want to feel like it was just god orchestrating the whole thing we were just you know playing around but this was this is god's script and i love that for me i really really do love it for me and i cannot wait to see what god has in store for us so that is just my story uh, i try to i really really try to make it as short as possible and i really hope that you enjoyed it please let me know about your experiences in the comments section and i'll see you guys next week so thank you guys for tuning in love you lots more